Welcome, this video is for all the people I know who are constantly asking me to try to explain to them how a VLOOKUP works in Microsoft Excel. And so I'm going to quickly do a couple of examples of VLOOKUP. Basically VLOOKUP allows you to take some data that you already have. For example, here's some data that I made up on students' names their majors, what zip code they live in, and their grade average. And it allows you to take some data you have and match it with data from another table and pull in data that matches from some other table. And there are two different ways you can use VLOOKUP to bring in data from another table. One way is an exact match, and the other way is to try to find something in a certain range. And we're going to do both of those pretty quickly. So let me show you how this would work. Uh, the VLOOKUP command in Excel basically looks like this. It's equals VLOOKUP and then what you want to put in the function is what do you want to find in the other table? So what do you want it to look up? So I always think about it, the, the syntax being this way. What do you want to look up? Where do you want me to try to find it? And then um, what column number do you want me to bring back from that uh, other table? And then an optional uh, last command, well, we won't call it optional, we'll put it in every time here to make it a little simpler, is either to put 0 or 1. And 0 means I want an exact match, and 1 means I want a range match. So let's uh, do this a couple of different ways. In order to use the VLOOKUP, again you have to have what you want to look up, where to look it up, what column number. So what we want to look up, for example, we might want to take these zip codes of each student and look them up in a table that has the city and the county name and income and some other information so we can find out something about where these students come from other than just a zip code which isn't very informative and so what we will want to look up is the zip code in this case where we want to look it up is in another table so let's go to sheet 2 where I have this other table and this is a table of all the zip codes in North Carolina. And in addition to the zip code, it has town, county, region, median household income, labor force participation rate, and unemployment rate. And these numbers are from the year 2000 census. It's important that if what we want to look up is the zip code, the zip code has to be in the far left column of the table that we're trying to find it in. So after you make sure that the zip code is in the far left column, what we want to do is highlight all this data. I'm just going to highlight all the uh, all the columns here because there's nothing below this information uh, that could get in the way. If you had some other data uh, below all these rows, highlighting all the columns might be a problem. but um, so let's just highlight all the columns and in order to do a VLOOKUP you first have to give this table a name. So we could highlight all the data we want or we could just highlight a certain region and we're going to give it a name. So um, if you go up to the top left here on Excel and hover your mouse over you might be able to just make out the word name box right here under the uh, A1 name box. If you want to name a range, click in this box and give it a name. And you have to give it a name that could not be a cell name. So you can't name this table B1, for example, or C128. So I usually give it some long, complicated name, uh, maybe something like uh, zip table for example. So just type that word and hit enter and you see that zip table is there. Now I always go ahead and double check that it, this actually worked by clicking this down arrow in the name box making sure that the word zip table is there and if we click it 
it will highlight all that data again that we called zip table. So after you give this table a name where you want to look things up, let's go back to sheet number one. Let's type in this command. We're ready to do it. And so let's say that we want to put the town name here. What we want to do is look up the zip code. That's the what. Where we want to look it up in that table we named zip table. So what zip code where zip table column number. Well, let's go back and look what column is the town in. It's not in the first column. It's in the second column. So the column number is going to be two. If we wanted the county, that would be three. If we wanted median, median income, that would be one, two, three, four, column five. So let's go back here and put in our VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. What? I want to look up what's in F4. Comma. Where do I want to look it up? Let's see, let's move this so you can see a little bit better what I'm going to type. Where? I want to look it up in the zip table. And then um, what column number? Comma 2. And now we have to tell it, do we want an exact lookup 0 or to look up something kind of close in a range? what we want to do here is find these exact zip codes. Something close doesn't really matter to us. So we want an exact match. Put zero for exact match. We want to find exactly the zip code 27313, nothing else. And hit enter. And it returns that this zip code is for the town of Pleasant Garden, North Carolina. Now in this formula I put F4 so that what I can do now is copy this formula down and it will automatically look up F5, etc. and return what all these towns are for these students. Now if we wanted to now um, also add in the median household income for the students then we can do that as well. Let's see, we have uh, median household income not for the students, but for the zip code in which they, they grew up. Let's go back to look at um, which column that was in one more time. So one, two, three, four, five. So we will type in equals V lookup. What do we want to look up? That zip code, F4, comma. Where do we want to look it up? Zip table, comma. Uh, which column number? 5. Exact for 0 or range lookup for 1? Well, we want 0. We want an exact match. And that tells us the median household income in that zip code and for all these other zip codes. So uh, it looks like that uh, our student Tara might be from a poorer area. And Joe Smith looks like to be from a more affluent area. Now that's the exact VLOOKUP. Let's see what changes if we uh, wanted to do a range lookup. Now one of the common times that I use a, a range lookup is to take a grade point average like this and find out what grade does it correspond to. And so um, the easiest way I know of is to use a VLOOKUP with the range, not with the exact number. Because we're not going to be able to find these exact numbers in a table. So here's what we can do. We can set up a table like this. A, B, C, D, and F. And here's what we want to do. Oh, I apologize. I have got these in the wrong order. We need to... Uh, what Excel does with a range lookup is kind of start from the low and and go through to the high. So I am going to put these in reverse order here. Now what we can do is put in um, different numbers for what ranges do we want to assign the grade letters F, D, C's, B's, or A's. And so we could say, well, anything uh, starting at zero, we'll call an F. 
Anything above a 60 we'll call a D. Anything above a 70 we'll call a C. 80 we'll call a B. And anything above an, a 90 we will call an A. And so this is our little table we're going to look things up in. And so like before though, when we had this table of zip codes where we were looking things up, the numbers we were looking up, and they, these don't have to be numbers, these could be words, but what we're looking up um, has to be in the leftmost column. So similarly, what I have to do is move these letters to the right. So now the numbers, because we're going to be looking up numbers in this table, they're on the left, and what we want to bring back, the information, is on the right. Now we have to name this table just like we did before, so I'm going to highlight this, go up to my name box, and I'm going to give it a name like, oh, I don't know, uh, grade lookup or grad look. Okay, let me do that again. Grad look, hit enter. Now again, just to double check, let's go to our drop down name box and make sure that grad looks there. Click it, and it will highlight the little table. Now, in order to get it to uh, return right here, what letter grade would that be? Let's type in the VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP. What do we want to look up? Well, we want to look up the grade that is now covered up here that's in B4. Where do we want to look it up? Well, we want to look it up in the table that we named grad look down at the bottom comma which column do we want to return well we want to return the letters that are in the second column here so we put two for the second column comma do we want to find these exact grades in this table that would be zero or do we want to find what range it's in we want to find the range so one tells us that we want a range lookup and then hit enter. And this tells us that when it looked in this table, it found that it was high enough to get to the B, but not high enough to get into the A category. And we copy that down. And here are our grades. So I hope that you found this an interesting and easy introduction to the two different versions for VLOOKUPs range lookups and exact lookups.